answer for me yet as to how many of those that are released with the promise of returning to a court date are actually showing up for, for their hearing? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't have a specific number in front of me, John. There are a couple of things. I've been asking this for a couple of weeks. I know. Is, is there a reason why you can't? But there, there are a couple of things that are important for you to understand. The, the first is, is that if that number, if I did have that number here, it would not necessarily give you an accurate picture of what's actually happening. Because what we're seeing is that we've seen this recent surge just in the last few weeks of recent arrivals. So the, the, uh, the LA Times uh, filed a Freedom of Information Act request and got some of the, the numbers for previous years. Mm -hmm. And it showed that uh, back in 2008, there were more than 8,000 uh, 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 minors who were sent back, who were deported. And last year, that number had fallen to less than 2,000. I mean, it, it was almost a fifth of what it had been. Right. Uh, doesn't that show that uh, what, what you were saying is disinformation when, when, when the smugglers promise that they'll be able to stay? I mean, effectively, <coughs> you, you, this administration has not really been deporting minors. Well, no, no, John, what's important is the difference between 2008 and the more recent statistics that you're citing is the passage of that law by Congress right. in 2008 that was signed into law by the previous president. The bottom line is what, what it shows is that minors that are coming into this country illegally are, for, by and large, have been able to stay because there have been so few deportations. I mean, you may blame well, it on the law, others may blame I'm not, it on the bl John, in, I'm not blaming it on the law. I'm, I'm merely citing that th 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 this is what the law requires.